So the school was created 10 years ago because the, there was a kind of a seismic shift in demand for sustainable solutions in the construction sector. Originally Skanska came to us and said, look, if we want to be the most sustainable construction company in the world, we don't have the capability in our, and capacity in our supply chain to deliver it. And that's where we came up with the concept of the school. We, we started with seven partners, but the idea was always the same. We collaborate together in order to upskill the supply chain around sustainability skills. Back in 2012, before the school was launched, the industry was really fragmented in terms of its sustainability agenda. There wasn't a common approach to what all the businesses were doing. There was no one place where you could go to get best practice guidance or advice. There just wasn't collaboration uh, in terms of supporting the supply chain. What it really needed was to find a way to bring the supply chain on the journey as well. Over the last decade, the school's made a fantastic difference. It's massively reduced carbon emissions and waste arisings. It's allowed people to come together and collaborate. It has a great bank of knowledge. It's given consistency about what we mean when we talk about sustainability, providing real clear definitions. People do feel better and much more confident to talk about sustainability and retention of skills within the sector. The supply chain schools driven massive change by providing free virtual learning across a massive range of subjects. It's also created a number of different resources depending on where you are in your journey. It's dynamic and progressive, it doesn't stand still. The sector continues to face a number of key challenges around sustainability. Number one has to be climate change. Over the next 10 years, we've got to get 75% reduction in our carbon. Everybody's talking about net zero, but everybody's talking about it in a slightly different way. How do we get the data to prove that we're actually reducing our sustainability impacts and adding social value? Another big challenge that we're going to have over the next few years is around the availability of labour and skills. We simply have not got enough people with the right skills. Trying to attract great talent from all diverse talent bases is really a key issue for me. The school will play a pivotal role in meeting the challenges of the next decade by doing what it does best. As an industry, we don't want to hold on to the solutions we might have. Working together and collaborating, doing things once for our shared supply chain, making it really simple for them to make change at speed. Bring people together, align them, and work together to find solutions. This is a do shop not a talk shop. So when we started the school in 2012, we, we managed to start with seven partners. In the first year, we gave ourselves an objective to get 600 learners, and we thought that was quite ambitious. But in the first year, we actually got 2,000. The school today has got nearly 180 partners, which is incredible. We've trained over 50,000 people now from 16,000 organisations. But we're just getting started. Our vision is for a future where everybody has the skills to deliver a sustainable future.